This week's story is The Boy Who Cried Wolf. A shepherd boy tended to his master's sheep in a dark forest not far from the village. Soon he found life pretty boring in the pasture. All he could do to amuse himself was talk to his dog or play on his shepherd's pipe. It was pretty boring indeed. One day, as he sat watching the sheep in the quiet forest, he started to think, what would happen if I saw a wolf? And he thought of a plan to amuse himself. His master had told him to call for help should there be a wolf attack on the sheep. Because as we know, wolves like to eat sheep. And then what would happen is the villagers would come and they would drive the sheep away. So now he thought he had not really seen anything that even looked like a wolf. But he thought to himself, hmm, I'm bored. What can I do? So he started to run towards the village, shouting at the top of his lungs, wolf, wolf. As he expected, the villagers who heard the cry dropped their work and then ran in great excitement to the pasture with all of their things ready to get rid of that wolf. But when they got there, they found the boy doubled over, laughing as hard as he could on the ground that he had played a trick on them. Ha ha ha, I fooled you, he said. The villagers were not amused. Few days passed. The boy sat watching the sheep, bored. What can I do? He thought he would try again. Wolf! Wolf! He cried. The villagers stopped what they were doing, grabbed their, their forks and ran. When they got there, once again, there was the boy on the ground laughing, thinking this was the funniest thing ever. One evening, as the sun was setting behind the forest and the shadows were creeping in on the pasture, a wolf really did spring from the underbrush and fall upon the sheep. The boy who had been sleeping woke up and saw the wolf. Fear overtook his whole body. He started to shake. He thought, oh no, this is real, this is real. And then he yelled as loud as he could at the top of his lungs, wolf, wolf, this time for real. The villagers didn't even think what he was saying was real. They said, hmm, there goes the boy again, telling lies. And they continued with his work. The boy kept crying, wolf, wolf, there's really a wolf. I really, really hear the wolf. He cannot, you, you must come, you must come. The villagers kept doing their work. In terror, the boy got up and ran as fast as he could towards the village. I'm not lying this time. There is a wolf. But nobody came to help him. You cannot fool us again, boy. We know you were lying. The boy went back to the village. The wolf had killed most of the boy's sheep and slipped away into the forest. The boy learned that day to never, ever lie ever again. <laughs>